Hi, it's Tina. So I don't think my last video worked out very well. I don't know what happened. The brightness went off. Anyway, I decided to recreate it. So I am going to make a crunch wrap. Kind of think along the lines of Taco Bell in my micro pro grill. So what I did first was I made my meat in the Tupperware stack cooker. So I just cooked it in there. It was some pork sausage in a roll. I cooked it in there and just added taco seasoning to it. It's delicious. That took me, now this is a 700 watt microwave, so it's a little on the smaller side. Um, that took me six minutes. So then, let's set that to the side for just a minute. I'm going to grab a gordita, and I've just got um, some refried beans in the can. I'm just going to spread those on there. Yummy, yummy. And then I've got some tostadas here. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to add some meat. I hope I've got that where you can see it a little bit. I know it's dark outside, so it's probably not as bright in the video as it could be. So the nice thing about this is this is going to be probably my dinner for tomorrow night at work. So I am just where that toast out is. I'm just covering it. With lots of meat. Then I shall add, oh, maybe I'll put on, it's debating. Um, I'm going to put the sour cream on next and then I'll add salsa after. So get that sour cream going. Just a little bit everywhere. Yummy, yummy. Then I'm going to add some salsa. And this is where you can get creative and you can add what you want in here. Make it, make it to your specifications. And then a garbage cheese. Grab it on there. Then I'm gonna cover it up. I want I'm gonna try and see if I could cover it. Oh shoot. So this is gonna be a little different because my cheese is gonna be open onto the grill part. So here is the Micro Pro Grill. I want to put it right down in the grill position. I'm going to move this plate out of the way. So remember, there's two positions in the Micro Pro Grill. You can turn it one way, and the lid fits right down inside of the grill, and that's the grill position. If you turn it the other way, um, it's called the casserole position, and it actually fits to where it sits a little bit up on top of everything. So I'm going to put this in uh, maybe I'll do three and three. When I did it the first time and it turned out really good. Like this one I don't know exactly because I did it slightly different. The other one I had put the tostada on last and I think that's probably the way I should do it because I'm a little worried about the cheese burning. but. Maybe it won't. Um, so the first one that I did, and it's, it's a little loud in here. You can see here is my crunch wrap. It looked beautiful the way you would see at the store. Um, and it tasted wonderful. So I 
I'm just super excited, super excited. So for anybody that thinks that the Micro Pro Grill is too expensive of a purchase to make, I want you to stop and think, how often are you eating out? I know the pandemic has changed the way everybody eats and everybody does things. Uh, it's such a wonderful tool, such a wonderful tool. Um, I am not comfortable going into a restaurant right now, I'll admit that to you. There, I have, I have, but there's lots of times the restaurants that I go into will be here in Shelby, Montana, and there's like 3,000 people that live here, okay? It's not that many, um, but you know, I do a lot of drive through and a lot of takeout and things like that. <clears throat> But using this Micro Pro Grill, well, let me tell you, up here in Shelby, we have a Subway, we have a Pizza Hut. There are a couple of diners. Right now, there's a little place called the Dash Inn that's open, and it serves um, burgers, it has the little car hop that comes to your car. And then you have like the gas station and the grocery store, and that's about it. So I don't have the opportunity to have this kind of stuff. But if I can make it in the Micro Pro Grill, it's amazing. It doesn't take hardly any effort or time at all to do it. And like I said, so it, it took me six minutes to cook the meat in the stack cooker. And it's gonna take me probably another six minutes to grill it. And then just putting them together. So you figure, that's less time than it would take me at home to drive to a Taco Bell and pick up this meal. And I'm gonna continue making all the mix that I have until it's gone, and then those will go in the fridge, and those will be my meals for the next couple of nights of work. So <clears throat> I'm not out of anything, and the time it takes is nothing. Um, it's way cheaper than if I were to go and purchase this meal three or four times. So if you think about it like that, and in the last two days, I have made a pan full of sliders, of which there's still half a pan at least still left in the fridge. So those can be eaten. There's, <clears throat> I had grilled cheese earlier, and now I am making the crunch wraps. So, rem so remember, that was the first time that we had it in. So I'm gonna take it out. And I did it for three. So I'm kind of wondering what that cheese did. Oh, I was kind of nervous about the cheese and what it would do. Okay, so some of my juice, probably from my salsa, has leaked out a little bit. But you can see that's the top of the pan. Not a big deal at all. So I have a spatula here. I'm just going to try and flip it over. You can see already that it looks exactly like it should. Let's see. I flipped it over. Flippy, flippy. And I'm going to put it right back down in the grill position where it sits right down on the food. And I'll put it in for another three minutes. So that will grill it for a total of six minutes. So think about that. Um, the cost will go down significantly because now that I can make these things at home the way that I want them, and I'm not using gas money, and I'm, I don't even have to leave my house. I just, I go to the grocery store, I buy what I need, it's amazing. You will see that instead of eating out every day and you start making these things at home and realize how simple they are, because they really are simple, that you're going to save a lot of money. So it's going to pay for itself, which is a wonderful thing. So I don't know if you can hear, but I've been allowed to keep a pet up here now. And <laughs> So there are a couple of kittens racing around here. I mean, they're not really racing around. They're at my feet right now. They were charging around over there a little bit ago. But yeah, 
they're just laying looking at me right now. So I have Cutie and Patootie, who are tortoise shell kittens. They're wandering around. I am just so tickled, so tickled that these turned out as well as they did. And all I'm gonna have to do is reheat it at work, which is what I would have done if I had bought it at Taco Bell, because the closest one is an hour away. <laughs> So this is really super. Um, make all kinds of things with my Tupperware now. I'm just waiting for this to go down. I've got an idea that I'm going to try and make for kind of a um, adult drink in a little bit. I'm going to use my chop and prep. And right now, the Pro Chef system which comes with the Pro Chef, the large one, and then the Chop and Pro. It's on sale. They are normally $93 for the pair. They are on sale for $69. Everybody needs one. Everybody needs one. And so I'm gonna try and make a slushy, and I will video that and show you how that goes. And we'll see. Gonna be a little bit it might be a little bit boozy, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Patootie. It's almost done. <laughs> and you know, I ain't gonna waste no time pulling it out. So let's grab hold of it. Because I want to see what it's gonna look like. And you can see there's the lid. Now it's very, very hot. It's like well over 400 degrees. So you're not gonna catch me touching that. That'd be silly. I'm gonna set that on the stove. And then I'm gonna lift this up and show you that, do you see where it's brown? Yes, it does in fact grill it. So that is where the, um, the top of the Micro Pro grill. And I'll flip it over so you can see the other side that had, that's where my tostada, remember I put it at the very bottom in here. So, so that's just goodness, cheesy goodness right there. And it looks just like it should. So I'm really glad that you got to see that. It's gonna be delicious. I'm just going to use the rest of my stuff and put them in the fridge. That way I've got some dinners for this week. All right, thank you for watching.